A newly published report by the Israeli Jerusalem Post newspaper said that Israel did not rule out the use of white phosphorus bombs against Gaza in future attacks. According to the report, an Israeli human rights activist had filed a request with the Israeli higher court demanding a ban on the use of this material in the military attacks, especially in the Gaza Strip. But the Israeli army rejected the demand, adding that it would only restrict its use. Phosphorus is a controversial weapon, classified as an internationally prohibited weapon, that must not be used in inhabited areas. The Israelis have never been punished for what they did during Kassled. Everybody ignored it. And it's always been one of the ways that the occupation works. If you just do something illegal enough times, people stop noticing. House demolitions, extrajudicial assassinations, torture, murdering civilians. During the 2008-2009 Gaza war, which lasted for 22 days, Israel rained white phosphorus bombs on various areas across Gaza. Many were burned to death. Others are still receiving treatment more than three years after the war ended. Human rights groups say that Israel's intention to use white phosphorus bombs in future large military attacks on Gaza indicates that it does not care about international and humanitarian laws. Israel is ongoing with its threats and tries to legalize the use of such prohibited weapons. The international community should intervene and stop the frequent attacks against Palestinians in the first place. Three years on, Sabah Abu Halima and her five-year-old granddaughter are still receiving a treatment from the severe burns they sustained during the attack on their house in Beit Lahi in northern Gaza. They went through many surgical operations, but she's still suffering from skin disorders. My body was fully burned during the war. I'm still recovering and living on daily doses of medicine in order to carry on with my life. Doctors decided to remove my spleen because it was damaged from the toxic fumes I inhaled at that time and due to the severe effects of the phosphorus on my skin. During the Gaza war, over 1,400 people, most of them civilians, were killed, and over 5,000 were injured. The seaside territory has been under siege for almost five years so far, and subject to frequent ground and air attacks. Yusuf Al-Halo, Press TV, Gaza.